In this video, we'll go through interacting with the new Grub 202 SPS menu. You may have noticed that you can no longer select a boot image using the cursor keys. The keyboard appears to be completely ineffective, although once booted, you can interact with the ECOS CLI. This is a new layer of security to prevent hardware models from becoming stuck if the automatic boot is interrupted for any reason, helping to ensure greater reliability in remote locations. However, you can still interact with the boot menu using this simple process. Type Cheyenne within the first five seconds of the boot menu appearing. You will have an extra 10 seconds once the first three letters, CHE, are detected. There will be no text feedback while you type. After successfully entering the password, again, there will be no visual feedback, but you should now be able to use the cursor keys to select a boot partition and the automatic countdown will cease. Some final notes. If you incorrectly type the password, you'll need to power cycle to retry the attempt. This affects hardware appliances shipped with ECOS 917, 925, 931, and 940 onwards. This also affects ECVs deployed from OVAs of the same versions. Upgrading an appliance running an older version of ECOS will not upgrade Grub. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.